Welcome to the very first installment of the Munich Biotechnology News from BioMTV, where we keep you up to date on the latest research and business developments in the various biotech sector. In the wake of the international financial crisis, many of the life sciences companies in Germany's southernmost state are beginning to show real optimism again. The second of two key takeovers came at the beginning of November, when biopharmaceuticals developer Vilex announced it was making a 19.2 million euro bid for Heidelberg Pharma. Vilex CEO Olaf Wilhelm said that the purchase dovetailed well with his firm's strategic plans. The Munich-based company will gain access to Heidelberg Pharma's ADC technology, which has the potential to increase the effectiveness of antibody-based drugs. That purchase follows in the footsteps of a deal struck by Morphosis at the beginning of October, when it acquired Sloaning Biotechnology for 19 million euros. That gives the leading antibody developer control of the trademark Slonomics technology, which improves the assembly and quality of protein libraries. Morphosis, which just announced it has more than 70 antibody projects in the pipeline, has said that with Slonomics it expects to accelerate clinical stage development of its drug candidates. BioM Cluster Management won a prestigious contest sponsored by Germany's Ministry of Research and Education last January. And on October 12th, nine months after the prize was awarded, the official launch of the M to the power of four leading edge cluster initiative took place at the Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry in Munich. Around 250 participants from business, research and politics were on hand for the event. BioM Managing Director Horst Domdai said the more than 40 development projects now starting will provide huge impetus to the region's biotech sector. The network to develop personalized medicine and more precise therapies has been granted a total of nearly 100 million euros in public funding and private investment to reach its goals. Awards like those granted to the Bavarian leading edge cluster are increasingly highlighting the state's strengths as a business location and the IZB Innovation and Startup Center in Martinsried is confident that more young companies will be flocking to the region in the next few years. Just one reason why one of Germany's largest hubs for groundbreaking spin-offs and startups has just gotten bigger. The IZB's West 2 building is the 10th construction stage to be erected on the site, offering over 3,500 square meters of office and laboratory space to potential renters. It took just 16 months to complete and is already booked out. Around 140 guests came to celebrate the opening. Among them were many of the stars in the Bavarian biotech firmament and politicians from the state government, including Finance Minister Georg Fahrenschon and Economics Minister and Deputy State Premier Martin Seil. Biotechnology plays a very special role in Bavaria. It's a flagship in our top-notch technology area that we're expanding today. Known as the incubator for Bavaria's biotech branch, the IZB has helped more than 100 startup life science companies find their feet since it was set up in 1995, and they have created around 2,000 jobs for highly qualified personnel along the way. With 25,000 square meters of available space, the IZB is now one of the largest centers of its kind in Europe. A wide variety of firms have set up shop at the ICB, from device developers to highly specialized providers of services like Kinaxo. The Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry spin-off provides proteomics methods to advance the successful development of small molecule drugs. At the beginning of October, Kinaxo signed a deal with Bristol-Myers Squibb to support several of the pharmaceutical giant's drug discovery programs. The Munich-based biotech company says it expects the new agreement to help it expand its business in the US. Novel drug developer 4SC, which is specialized in autoimmune diseases and cancer, released preliminary results at the beginning of November from a phase 2 study with its top pipeline product, Vidofludimus. Nearly 9 in 10 participants in the study responded favorably to the treatment for inflammatory bowel disease and no discernible ill side effects were observed. That's all we have time for this month. Thanks for joining us and we hope you'll check us out in December for more of what's going on in biotechnology in Bavaria. See you then.